Do you consider our breakup ugly? Yes. <laughs> yes. We're just telling the whole damn story. It's like, point. I thought that we were just gonna tell how we met and now here we are. This old ass man took pictures of our asses. Straight up from underneath, like got a up close and personal pic of our butts. Animals. I can't believe they're all in the video. I know, they're just all having a good time. They're all just ready to be on YouTube. They all smell like fish so much. Hi, don't hiss at him, okay? Are you gonna turn into a kitty? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, you're turning into a kitty. I can see it happening. Ah, <laughs> like We got a puppy together, oh question God. mark. <laughs> I'll give you a new home. You know I mean, can be friends. I don't think that's good enough. Mocha keeps hissing at her. Pam, you don't even know his gender. <gasps> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, should we get a thumbnail first? Yes. Yeah. We have that out of the way. Should we just like make out? <laughs> All the people like, like clicking, they're yeah, like, like yeah, that's what we thought we were getting. That's what not happening right now. Wrong website. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, and subscribe to our only base. <laughs> getting back together. <laughs> Oh shit, that's not the look at Hey alligators, what's, what's up? up? It's Allie Hardesty. And Lauren Jean. What's up? Uh, <laughs> this is, I'm my ex-girlfriend. This is everything I never talked about in like 2018 that went down. And probably like afterwards too. Yeah. We'll just discuss everything pretty and much. And ongoing. Well, that sounds bad. No. <laughs> we just finished having sex. No. Oh my god, I literally can't. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. So, we thought that in honor of Pride Month, even though this will probably be uploaded, like, in oh, July. Post yeah. If you guys don't know, we are both bisexual, so Ooh. we like men, we like women. Clearly, this is my ex-girlfriend, so <laughs> we thought we would share some stories today about yeah. what that was like, I guess, like, when we dated. Spill the tea. Answer your guys' questions on Instagram and Twitter about our relationship. Yeah. We don't know where this is going I literally, go. I almost, like, reading some of the questions that I was tagged in on Twitter. We, like, start fighting. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> no, I don't think we will, right? We literally have sat down and like talked everything before this. She's like the only ex I would probably ever make a video with like this ever. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe. She also does have a YouTube channel if you guys want to subscribe. Everything of hers will be linked below. She also has an OnlyFans, an Instagram, a Twitter, you know, just go follow all of that. I remember when I, actually when we first started dating, both of us talked about this, is we would like look up YouTubers, like lesbian <laughs> oh YouTubers, my God. and we ended up looking up the same people. And honestly, there was like one or two couples that you could really like look at and I feel like I even still kind of struggled relating to mm -hmm. most of them It was like the one that we were looking at Cammy and yeah, it would be like it's us Especially too, like being bisexual you feel like you're half in one community and half in the other people don't take you as seriously Yeah, you get like ostracized and like told you're just exploring if you're not in a lesbian relationship Then you're not gay at all. There's just so many like things on it Should we tell them how we met first before we yeah, get into it? Yeah, yeah, how we met is actually kind of interesting. I was using tinder in college for like strictly girls basically. We went to the same college. This was the beginning of 2018 and I had just like officially come to terms with my sexuality and I told some of my closest friends who were also like LGBTQ plus and they were like get on Tinder. And I'm not really big with dating apps but I'd already had it downloaded previously and it was on both men and women. <laughs> I was like so in denial. I was like I just want to make friends. I'd already matched with her and I was like oh my god like there's no way this girl is real. I like knew your face but it had been years since I had been watching YouTube videos or at least like your channel specifically but I was subscribed to you I'm pretty sure like, we should read our old messages I don't want to oh my god no I, I messaged you first and it's gonna be embarrassing I thought that it was like a catfish account because once I like placed two and two together I was like oh my god like she's a youtuber but then you followed me on Instagram and I was like Oh, no, this is really her. And I think that that's when I DM'd you. We gotta look. We just I, gotta look. Okay. I feel like you're gonna have to go really far back. How did you already do it? Oh my god. No! No, 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 no! Oh my god, she lives and breathes. Haha, <laughs> what's up with you? And I'm like already putting like blue hearts. Like, okay, calm down. <laughs> Totally thought you were catfish until I found your Instagram and just at the airport. How about you? I said, Oh, I'm definitely a catfish. You should see me first thing in the morning. Oh my god. <laughs> so quirky. Oh, I'm thinking about going back to the gym today and maybe going to the lib. I hate everything. What's the lib? Library. Oh. <laughs> Wow, you're so cool. What's up with my lingo? Why am I talking like this? This is so weird. I gotta look like a different person. Okay, that was in my phase when I decided that really thick eyebrows were like it for me. I like them. No, they were terrible. Mm -mm. Oh my god, no! Ah! I can't do this! Allison! 
we started talking on Instagram and then we started texting and I was very in the closet so I was like does she know I like like her does she think I'm like trying to be her friend like I couldn't tell we were sending like very long messages like every day everything was like very serendipitous because I feel like we had so much in common and we were just like bing 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 bing, bing back and forth back and forth and then remember when we ran into each other at Riley's okay yeah and it was like a Wednesday no one ever goes out like Lisa Riley's on a Wednesday it's, like, which is a bar I was texting you in the uber on my way there that's so and I was with this girl who I like had made friends with in Chico and she ended up actually stealing from me that oh night. yeah and I like never talked to her again anyways I was there with her and we pull up and I think I like went to the bathroom and then I was walking back and then you came up to me and you're like Allie I remember seeing you in and I was like yo what's up because there's like no one else in the bar but us basically normally that place is like mm -hmm. packed and I was like excuse me hi texting you this moment and then we just like hung out all night bought me and my friends all drinks and I was like you literally don't have to do this and like no I want to <laughs> you did something where you're like oh like if I like thought oh you're 10 like I would write it on this now yeah so there's a game in Riley write your name and number on it and give it to another person I was trying to be so fucking cool that's so but it was really crazy because you were graduating mm -hmm. and then this was like when I had just dropped out of Chico So I was like traveling 24 7. Yeah, you were always out every time we tried to make plans You'd be like actually I'm flying to here. I'm like do you even live here? Like I literally wouldn't believe it But you were like so sweet and you ended up. Oh my god. I forgot about this. I was a theater minor And so uh, we were in these like 24-hour plays which were incredibly embarrassing retrospective She killed it. It's like a whole team of things it has to all be done in 24 hours You stay up all night and then you go and like perform it the next Night. So she told me she had this play thing she was doing and I was kind of like, oh like can I come? I didn't want to like intrude but like no, sweet. I wanted an excuse to like go see her and I didn't know if she like thought that I was like trying to be her friend or not So <laughs> my friend was like, okay, like you gotta like make it more obvious or whatever So I got her flowers she did. It was really and I showed up and beforehand we like went to get tickets and we bought tickets Because my friend came with me for like the wrong thing. You went to an orchestra! You literally bought tickets for an orchestra! It was I was a free like, show. I'm so sitting in this auditorium and then we're like wait this is like not the right thing and then so we showed up late I remember seeing you you were like down on the left and no it was really sweet that you came and then oh my god is this where things get messy we were still texting but it like you were busy out of town and it was getting down to like literally the week I was graduating and I don't think you knew that you were moving yet I think you were like I might be moving so in my head I was like okay this like probably won't work out I ended up like hooking up with my personal trainer <laughs> and I found out from Twitter no one told you after I saw on Twitter oh, I was like taking a break from Twitter, so I like didn't ah! app, but I would literally go on my laptop just to go look at her tweets and like I saw her tweet about like my boyfriend. I don't even think it was her boyfriend. And but I, it was, it was, like, I always like joked on Twitter like the guy or person or whatever that I'm dating be like, yeah, my new boyfriend as a joke. And he wasn't my boyfriend. He was never officially my boyfriend. He asked me and I said no, to be fair. It was like two or three days into it. I think I sent something to you. You did. You texted me something where you were like, I think like we should continue to kind of like be friends because like I think you knew that you were moving. Yeah. Huh? I knew I like liked her and I wanted to stay friends with her and so I told her, I was like, hey, I just want to let you know like I have started like seeing someone new who is moving to the same area I'm moving to and I didn't know that that fucking crushed your heart, okay? I didn't know and it was just because I saw on Twitter before. Already. It really had nothing to do with the way that she handled it. It was just like me working through my own feelings. I was in the closet. I like really liked her. I know we hadn't really hung out much, but I could just tell. I was like, oh my god. So we basically stayed friends after that. Like yeah, we kind of like did. we would like FaceTime and like yeah. the whole Tanacom thing. We, she like, like FaceTime me because so she was there. Up. She was like, it was crazy. <laughs> you were like, you have to film a video. <laughs> and she did. It like went viral. It did. Yeah. We would always like talk and like we always stayed like friends, like in cordial and stuff. I had no idea that you were her. And she moved down to San I love how we're talking about how we met and it's just like a full story we're about like, the relationship. Like yeah, anyway. So then I end up getting back with my ex mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. so I was like dating him that summer and that was when I moved down to Orange County. And I didn't know this. FYI. You didn't know I was dating him during that time? Mm -hmm. Really? No. I think I did post with him, but I don't know. Probably, but like, I really don't read into people's social medias. Yeah. Like, I, I, it's something I try actively not to do. And so I was dating him for a while, and then we ended up getting in this like huge fight around like October, and we broke up. To be fair, I was like hitting you up way before October. She and I was, was. Like, Let's go do this. Like, and he knew, but he was like okay if I was like with girls. Like, he was actually pretty cool about like my sexuality and stuff. It was kind of like this weird thing where I was like dating a guy, but he didn't really care if I was like with girls, but he didn't want me to have feelings for them. I'm like, well, if I'm gonna like be with a girl, like, I want 
to like them. And he yeah. knew I had like the biggest crush on you, so he would get like jealous. jealous of you. <laughs> so like you definitely did try to hang out with me. Like, oh, you invited me to like a game show, remember? Oh my god, I never even went to that, but I had like tickets. Like, like you can bring Olivia, and like Olivia didn't even know at the time. Like she oh was one god. of the first people I came out to. It was just hard for me to navigate truly because I was really? so like in Narnia, okay? Like I was in Narnia. <laughs> Nobody really knew Deep like at all. I have like two friends like Anna was one of them because she's gay Which is so weird, I'm like though. fully out and so I'm like yeah, let's go on a date with all of our friends She asked me to go out with her for Halloween I think that's when we kind of like realized oh this isn't like friendly anyone's so it's sort of like romantic because well, I wasn't sure until I got to you I house. wasn't sure either I spent like the whole year being obsessed with her and then like getting <laughs> over her I go there thinking we're just gonna be like friends, you know, like I'm she just like, wants to go out for I Halloween you. She gave me a spooky basket with like a candle like all my favorite candy She had messaged Olivia my best friend to find out like what I liked and Wait, Wait, did Olivia know at that point? I don't think, oh no, yeah, I think she Oh, did. I was like, fuck! I think I actually came out to her because you kept asking me out and I was like nervous. I was like, oh. like I'm gonna hang out with Lauren, like I need to give her some context on like who Lauren that. is, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're literally the reason I came out. I think I'd probably still be in the closet, honestly. Like, I was like, I need to come out because I need to like hang out with Lauren. <sighs> I don't know, just Are you being a good kid, you know? Hey, be nice. We do not need to traumatize him any further. Like, this is a nightmare. <laughs> Where did we leave off? We sat down and we talked about our feelings for like two hours. And then we... More than that, we watched two movies and we didn't watch any of them. Oh, we yeah. Just, like, we literally, literally sat talked and the talked the whole time. for like the entire time. It was like literally six hours. This is the first time we've hung out in like so long. Like, I want to let you know I'm like pursuing this relationship very seriously. <laughs> literally, that's what we were saying. And then we just started talking about our trauma. Me and my ex had just broken up. I wasn't expecting that, honestly, going there. I was just like, I'm friend zone, whatever. So I got Got there and she's like I like you and she like gave me this spooky basket and I was like oh my god this is like the cutest thing anyone's ever done for me I like posted it on my Twitter and Cute. Instagram and stuff. It is literally so aggressive I could have taken it down like two octaves maybe five but I feel like you kind of needed 20. to do that to like that's true. know that it was like not a friend thing yeah no that's true I think that's why I did it and then we had like a really fun like trip we went to a workout class oh yeah we went and you like made me breakfast she's like such a wifey we like did all this <laughs> cute stuff we like went on a walk to Starbucks we went to Party yeah. City and we went and kind of like got our costumes figured out because mm -hmm. we were aliens together. We were little matchy like aliens. We went to the beach, remember? Oh yeah. Like, we literally were like holding each other in a hammock for like an hour. She was like telling me about all this stuff in her life and I like shed a tear. I was like, oh my god. We just like connected so much about all this stuff. We and it was, like, crazy. literally were just like one big trauma fest. This is all the things that damaged me. I love you. <laughs> Yeah, we had like really deep conversations right mm -hmm. off the bat and it just got like really serious Like I went there so not quick. knowing to expect and I was like And you're like now we're love. I have a whole ass girlfriend, okay I was like shit and We went out that night to the gas lamp district in San Diego And this is where things got like really crazy So we this had This is like truly the story time of it all Oh my god, yeah this I like just wanted to make a story time on its own about I first of all got the wrong ticket So oh remember? God, yeah And we were late and then we like couldn't find the bar crawl We went to like two of the bars But remember the Okay, so we Oh my Oh my god, yes. I think it was like the second bar and everyone's dressed up for Halloween. So we're wearing like these cute little bodysuits with fishnets. We walked into the bar and you're like, I have to do this before I'm too drunk. And you like grab me and kiss me in front of everybody. And I was like, oh my god, like. And like all these old men are just like checking her out. Everybody over the age of 50 was just like all eyes on Lauren. Like, <laughs> no one young likes me. There was a photographer. So we wanted to go up and like take a photo. We're on this platform and we're getting our photo taken. And then below us, apparently this old ass man had taken out his phone and like took pictures of our asses straight up from underneath like got a up close and personal pic of our butts and so we're like coming down and this little girl I think she was like dressed up as like Velma yeah like, she walks up to me and she's like hey I just want to let you know that guy took a picture of your guys's asses up there and I was like okay thanks and then you're like what did she say to you and so I told you and she's like I was like hold on I marched up to this man and I was like excuse me sir I think you have something on your phone that belongs to me and he was like uh uh-huh and he like pulls out his phone and I was like delete it she grabbed his phone from him oh I did take it well cuz he deleted it and I was like no 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 and I took it I went to recently deleted it. I deleted that and I handed it back to him I was like you should be ashamed of yourself and he's, he's like, like I, I am, am. <laughs> He was old though. He was like literally like in his 60s. We went to Omnia and it was totally fine when we were with my friends. We Omnia went, is like a really big like club. It's like a Vegas club in San Diego basically. Yeah. My friends left and then we went down to like the pit where the DJ is. We're like peak drunk out on the dance floor. We're like dancing and we like go and we're like kissing each other. Like, I think I gave you my phone and we I put it in your purse. Oh my god. Yeah. So I had this fanny pack right here oh, right. and it had like a little buckle on it. So if you turned it, that's how you like opened it. And so we had both of our phones in there and then we we were just like
like you're literally they're, like making out, having a great time, and then like all of these men came up and like were like circle jerking around us. I don't know if I should say that. That's disgusting. That's what they were doing. But that's literally what they were doing. They were like trying to fucking grind on us, and they kept grabbing you too. I don't know what came over me. I literally just was like fueled with anger, and I was like, don't touch her. <laughs> Taking men's hands, like throwing them away. I was like, go away, go away, get away, because they were just so close. Like you're trying to have a good time with your partner, and like you just have like literally, it was so aggressive and like so like violent. I felt like no, we were like getting pushed and stuff. Once they realized that we were like gay, like they yeah, were actually stuff. gay. Like, we weren't like trying to then just they... do it for their attention or their like enjoyment. They, they were like, oh angry. wait a minute. At one point, you took I... your hand. She went over the guy's face, and she was like, get out of here. <laughs> well, because they kept touching you, and I literally was like, no, this is not okay. And then so obviously like we pissed them off because we weren't trying to like all go home and have sex with all of them clearly. The guy I think it was the one that you shoved. I feel like pressure here like someone had like messed with the fanny pack and I'm like do you have your phone? And then she was like no. I like looked I was like oh my god. They like swooped in and got it. I was drunk but like my mood went from like way up here to like way down there so fast. Honestly it's like low key I know that like people are like that's not a hate crime but like low key you just got like mugged a little bit. I mean mugged yeah. more violent I suppose. Once they realized that they didn't have a chance with us, that was when they, like, were being, one, more violent, but robbed two, us. also <laughs> robbed us. Which is just, like, annoying. And I think they turned off your phone immediately, because we tried mm -hmm. calling it, we tried was, tracking it, we looked yeah. on the floor. And, like, I would have been the same way, because the same thing happened to me at Pride, which I made a story time so about sad. before, and it's, like, it's just such a violation of, like, yeah, your all privacy. of your stuff. Yeah. yeah, I went into the bathroom and cried, I'm pretty sure, and, like, you were trying to console me, it was oh really God. nice, yeah. And I was, like, I think I just want to go. We had more places to go on our bar call. And yeah, but like, we were just, like, you know what, because oh, we wanted right. to go to AT&T in the morning and, like, figure out her oh, phone right. and everything. Yeah, oh yeah, you took me. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, it doesn't even end there. We go out to the fucking corner. I'm like so angry. I'm like, I can't even call this an Uber home. Like, bleh, bleh. and she's like, it's okay. And I think I was just like pouting and like sad and trying not to cry and like also trying not to like ruin the day. You know, it's Halloween. <laughs> we called an Uber. I think it kept canceling on us. I think like we thought our car pulled up, but we got in a stranger's car. And like, we're both drunk, but I'm also not really paying attention because I'm just like, feel it's okay. I'm like crying. <laughs> like holding you in the back of the Uber. I it was like some random person's like, car. There was a hate crime. And like this guy, and he's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, he stole my phone. And like, they're trying to like drag off on us. So this guy is clearly like, where do you live? Let me take you home. Thank God he wasn't creepy. We were like emotionally talking about our night to this man, and he was invested. Like, he was like laying down in my lap, and I'm like, it's okay. But you have to get into my apartment complex using, her using phone. my phone. We get out of the Uber. We never paid for the Uber. So. We had to call your roommate. I had to like message her on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think I was just like really sad and so I like went to bed sad. <laughs> it kind of killed the mood for the night. Then we woke up, we went to AT&T, we got breakfast, and then we started planning a trip to Paris. We are literally we so like... U-Haul lesbians. We dated for like another like month and in that time period we were like, well potentially like when we move in together. Oh and, my like, god. <laughs> I think like we figured right? ourselves out because we like started planning our future like literally. right off the bat. Literally. I did get freaked out. But like we were both into it. Because like, I was still in the closet so I was like, oh my god. And I think that that was also really hard for me and like I wish that I was better about that retrospectively but like I had spent so much time in the closet and like hating myself that it was like I felt like I was placed back in it while I was yeah. with you. I didn't want to pressure you at all like coming out and like yeah. all that. I wanted you to feel like really comfortable but also there was like I mean I did want you to come out because I yeah. wanted that life that we were talking about. I think retrospectively it was just a lot for both yeah. of us. I had a lot of pressure on myself because I was like okay I need to come out to my family and friends and then I can come out to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Come out about like having a girlfriend or whatever. It was like during the holidays. So it was yeah. like Thanksgiving and then like obviously Christmas, Christmas is right after that. that. So I was home for the holidays. My dad passed away a few years ago and it was still really fresh on my family. And like this was a whole other thing. I'm not gonna like dish this to you because it's like my family's. But like there was a serious family issue that was like extremely depressing for me at the time. It was hard for me to like open up to you about it because like I really wanted to like keep like the positive thing that we had had going. I don't know. I don't know why I couldn't talk to you about it. It was just emotionally a lot. And so I didn't know what was going on. She kind of like shut me out like I was like texting her and this is when I came out to my mom so I remember telling you like I came out to my mom like no. I was all happy and then I, I could just tell something was off with her and then you were on like Twitter like Finsta like tweeting and saying stuff like that she was like you know not doing well and I'd be like hey like you gonna talk about it? what's going on and she's like no everything's fine and I'm like which one is it yeah I know I like barely wanted to even talk to like my closest friends about it I really do do that when I get like really upset like I have a hard time opening up to like the romantic people in my mm -hmm. life and I totally would have understood but like I know you it was literally know. like she was just like no everything's fine and then like on social media she's just like this is the worst day of my life and I'm like oh my god like what's <laughs> oh my god, going on you made me sound so bad. I 
I was just like, okay, she like won't talk to me and I just came out to my mom Not like for her obviously I wanted to do that on my own But it was like I didn't want you to think that like I wasn't taking you seriously So I like kind of did that to show you like I was serious about yeah. you and stuff I really should have been more there for you like and in my head I was like doing the best I could and I was like texting you in the morning And I was like texting you at night and that was like really all that I could like manage at the time I think you got really hurt by that understandably so but you know what else there was going on too hmm. I just remembered. Oh, she <laughs> So mm -hmm. one of the times when she had came over we I logged into her YouTube channel on my laptop and then she never logged out I didn't even notice at first that it was still logged into her channel because we watched a lot of the same youtubers So I remember like noticing at first it was like I was in the watch history and it was like Emma Chamberlain and like people We both watched and then I realized like with her YouTube and I had seen like she had searched losing like sexual, sexual interest, interest in, in like lesbian a... relationship And I was like, oh my god, she's gonna break up with me. I was yeah. like that you weren't sexually interested in me because I knew that you were in the beginning and I had bronchitis know. okay no I know I, I know I was super super sick after my birthday and she's like I still want to come and everything and I was like I'm sick like I was like coughing up phlegm probably super contagious whatever I didn't want to get her sick so I wasn't like trying to like make a move on her like that and totally. so I think she took it as like I wasn't attracted to her which like literally how literally how like I remember you tried to tell me like maybe you're like heteroromantic I was like girl no like <laughs> I was hard for, it was just hard for me because a lot of my other female relationships were inherently sexual I also was like do I need to take things slow for her like I didn't know anything and so I was like I just don't think that she like wants this anymore that's like, why she searched that but I thought that she was searching it because she was just like no longer interested in me also there was the search thing of like the twin flame and you oh were, my like, god she looked up I, like twin flame reunion I'm like probably not me probably my ex-boyfriend it was literally for my sister because she was like having issues with her boyfriend and she was like he's my twin flame so she was explaining it to me but I wanted to like look it up and so she sees these two things and she's like she hates me we're breaking up which like i should have just calmed down and like let things pan out naturally but after seeing that like i probably should have just told you i saw it but i basically was like trying to like force kind of like where we stood and it was still like and it was like in the newer. middle of me being really sad and i literally was like i've done everything to show she was you like, how, how do you not know? you know what i mean and i was like i just need a little time right now and i just felt like so hurt and then i think that hurt you because the way she responded i wrote out this like whole thing like so long it went to like a separate page and it was like how I felt my response hurt. was really short. I wasn't trying to be mean, but it was like I poured my heart out. I was like, I was I am so, so serious about you. Like I just came out to my mom. Like I want to let you know that like sorry. I really want to be with I'm you. So like sorry. all this stuff. I literally just put it all out there. And then her text back was like, we should like see how things go or something. And I was like, Jesus, oh my god, I I you were like going through such a different thing on your side. And like I had so many other things like emotionally stuff. draining me that it was like that long message. I was like, I don't know how to respond to this right now. And like I didn't want to leave you on red. I think you waited till the next morning too Did I? yeah it's okay yeah. though if i was you i would break my heart i know i know I'm but so like sorry. honestly i shouldn't have like tried to force you to like say like you know like i don't know i just wanted that like verbal confirmation like sure. words of affirmation is like my love language so in that moment i just like wanted to like hear it Can we put a pause for a second you also were like talking to your ex Said he that. was talking to you you weren't reaching out to him and i think that was also really hard on your emotions too that's another thing because i was like this is a big deal if i'm gonna come out and be dating a girl like i'm like leaving that part of my life Why? behind officially because I was with him for years, like, yeah. off and on, but it was, like, a big relationship to me. Like, he was the guy I dated, like, throughout, like, me starting my YouTube and everything. And so I was like, wow, like, if I'm really gonna do this, I need her to be able to tell me, like, she feels the same and, like, she's in it too. Which is, like, I that's stupid. I should have, like, put so much pressure on that. But I didn't know what was going on. She didn't tell me anything. Because we were supposed to hang out. We had, like, one day that we were gonna, like, hang out. And then you were going on a long trip and then we weren't gonna be able to I had, like, back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back things planned. I think you were just so hurt that you literally were like, yeah, I'm busy. Or something like that. Oh and I was God. like, I'm, like, really trying here. I think what it was was like Natalia came. It's I know like you saw it as like I could like step away and call you but they didn't know and like they I didn't even I, know I, I liked know. girls so they probably would have been like who the hell are you like calling? Yeah. I would have been like oh my girlfriend they knew it like wouldn't have been weird yet but I didn't tell her until like maybe the second night she was there. So yeah. Like, I was like Allie an hour I'm not gonna be able to see you for a month and you're like no. We didn't talk for a few days and then I don't actually know who texted who but it was a breakup. Oh my text. god I remember that's when we like <laughs> that was like it was like a, I mean you said some hurtful things. I don't think you were intending to be yeah. hurtful at all but on my end I was like I was like reading like any little thing I could I was kind of like this is why I'm ending because I was like yeah, why are you breaking yeah. up with me she was kind of like why and like and I don't you know you literally were like every reason I could possibly think of and I was like oh you fucking hate me I think you thought I was like trying to go back to an ex and I literally I didn't know what was going on she was like Allie like I'll come see you like I want to talk to you I'm sorry and then she like went and like she told me everything I wanted to hear like a week prior you were like, like too little too late bitch bye 
I don't like regret things and stuff, but like yeah. I do think it was like a scaredy cat move of me to like go back to my ex clearly versus like pursue a relationship with a girl who I actually had been wanting to date like all year. That was what I wanted to do, but like my ex, there were still like feelings there, obviously, and like it was just like the easy way out. Like I hate to say it, when I yeah. definitely should have tried to. Well, also, with you. I found out about the ex boyfriend through a video, and that's when everything hurt so bad. You have to understand, like every female relationship that I had had previously, they had like left me to go back to their ex or left me to go to a guy or like told me that they weren't really gay and that I was an experiment to them. And I think because in my head I was like, she thought that I was like sneaking around on her and trying to go back to some twin flame. That hurt me so bad that afterwards I literally had my walls up so high with you and you wanted to be friends and I was like, no, don't talk to me. Oh my God, so I wrote her a letter on Valentine's Day because Oh, we were obviously our Paris trip got canceled. Oh yeah. <laughs> But, and so we were supposed to go like during Valentine's Day, like for her birthday and stuff, because she's like born in February. I'm a Pisces. Can you guys tell? Because I'm fucking emotional. I'm like, <laughs> like, just, like, away really every hurt. time I get scared. My ex and I broke up obviously a couple months went by and I just had this crazy urge to like write her a letter and I was like you know what like I just got out a pen and paper and I just started writing like out everything I felt everything that I kind of like probably should have said during the breakup I didn't even tell her that I had seen her YouTube history or anything so I got like really real in this letter and I was like honestly like I'm sorry I was logged in I'm not logged in anymore but I, I didn't know how to tell you that I was just insecure because I thought that like I wasn't good enough because I wasn't like I don't know experienced enough or whatever I mean I feel like it honestly pissed you off more because I remember you telling me like I felt like you were trying to like get your feelings out there to make yourself feel better. I guess I was in a way because I was just like writing it down, but I ended up sending it to her. Yeah. And I did want to let her know like I actually cared about her. I did appreciate it, but in the moment, I also like got it on my birthday or mm. like something like that. <laughs> I like got it and I was so angry. Like I was so hurt. I thought I was I doing was, something like, nice. No, I know you, you were. Yeah, my response was not the kindest, I don't think. I think he reached out to me on Instagram and you were like, just wanted to let you know I got the letter, period. Like, no, that's not else. true. That's Oh, I think you texted me. You texted yeah, I me. had like talking points. I had things I had to say back. Oh, no, you did. You did. But I remember you were more cold towards me. Absolutely. And then like the second time we talked after that, because I think, oh, it was EDC. You reached out to me and you're like, we should hang out or something. And then like, that was the time when we hung out was after that. Oh. And yeah. then you were like way nicer. Because at first she was like, I would just love to be friends. And I was like, you broke up with me and haven't spoken to me. And now you're like telling me that you invaded my privacy and you want to be my friend. I mean, obviously we're friends now, so it's fine. You had no bad intent. And it wasn't even about that either. I was also just like hurt because I was like, I was just starting to like get over you and starting to really process my feelings and like it hit me so hard. like I read that letter and I fucking sobbed and like obviously I know we didn't even like really date for that long but it was still something that it's like our history was very like it was like a year period kind yeah of. yeah and like I did really value our friendship so I felt like we were losing a lot of that and we did take things so quickly I needed a lot of time to process and I knew I had to be the one to like reach out and you would always comment on my stuff and I'm like, I would always I knew it pissed you off I'd like comment on your videos <laughs> she got on my videos like, Instagram, my Twitter she'd like all my tweets and like I liked it like I'm not gonna act like I didn't like it <laughs> she's like, like oh I'm she's like, liking all my pictures and I can't believe she's so obsessed with me oh my god it's so fucking do you see this obsessed oh yeah and then you made the video with me in it all my friends were in my DMs like oh is this god. your ex-girlfriend like she made okay. a video Okay, okay. I didn't do one last year, but I normally do like a year in review video. And so this was the year that I like came out. I came out in that video pretty yeah. much. She was like the only girl I was like with or anything. And so I, I talked about her. Like I said what happened and stuff and she was in the thumbnail. And <laughs> so I can't even tell you how many people sent that video to me. And I was like, really? I literally want to die. For someone with her I'm sorry. I no, you know what? But like I watched the video and it was such a short little snippet of what you said. And you were respectful of everything that you said. And I was like, you know, I'm not like mad at her for it. Like, I remember. I, I think you were mad. I remember seeing something. Oh, it was like a text conversation with you and your sister. Cause I like went in her tag photo. Oh my god! And she like blurred out my name, but it was like I could tell it was me. And she was like, "Never date another YouTuber or something." No, you were like, "I'm never dating another YouTuber." I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. No, I deserved it. That's I deserved it. <laughs> I processed everything I, it's like honestly we did we had like a really good friendship and I felt like sad and honestly like as much as like everything irritated me I think that it only irritated because it was hurting so bad you know yeah. what I mean like now I look back at that stuff and it doesn't bother me I'm obviously not always that great at expressing myself I'm probably a lot better now but I wasn't that great at that. I was so confused <laughs> yeah no I was confused too and girls are really confusing no yeah it was a lot of fucking this. emotion <laughs> I told people for so long I was like really dating a girl made me like never want to talk about 
about my emotions with a man because <laughs> two women talking about their feelings is the most emotionally exhausting fucking thing you could possibly do. It's crazy. We were, again, the epitome of you haul lesbians. I honestly think if I was out of the closet, it would have been, it been completely different. different. Like, how do you date someone where it's like a secret? Like, that's it's hard. obviously gonna affect it. You know, like, you wanna tell your friends, you wanna be excited. Yeah. Plus, I do YouTube too. It's not like. Yeah, but that was a whole other Yeah, that made it, it a like, lot harder. It's like you're doing something in private, but you're also a totally public figure. And I had never dated someone like so in the limelight. It was a lot. It was very confusing. I was like, so do you wanna do things so like that? Oh, no, you know, okay, we, we don't, but we, do, we don't. But we do. Are we gonna <laughs> vlog this? We don't, we don't know. Yeah, after that, we met up a couple of times to kind of talk things through. I thought we were gonna get back together a little bit. I think you probably did a little bit too. I don't know what you thought. Actually, I don't know what you thought. I remember you like asking me. This time it was like your turn to be like, so what's going on? <laughs> like, after I, I saw know. you. I mean, we always like make plans to hang out. It's just like it has never worked, and I was working a lot. I don't even know how much of the story you want to use. Do you still want to do questions? I'm down. We can see like anything we didn't kind of answer. I feel. <laughs> I don't know. I like didn't expect us to like dive in as much as we did. Something you regret because you knew you could have done better in the relationship. Um, I'm perfect. I don't know. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I feel like I did a lot of things to show you that I yeah. did, but when it actually came down to like me talking about it, I wasn't very good at that. I feel like we have very different love languages. Yeah. So like you felt like I wasn't attracted like, to you. Like physical attention. Because I was like sick and like wasn't trying to be all over yeah, her like, and stuff. Yeah, physical affection or whatever is like, I never thought it was my main one, but like totally I think it's your main is. one. <laughs> yeah. And like words of affirmation are like my last. Really? Which is so funny because that's what like that's you, like all I needed. Like, yeah, that's how you express too. Yeah, I honestly just regret like having it end and shit because it didn't really need to end over that. Like honestly, I feel like that's why I was reaching with like why we were breaking up because it was like there wasn't really a point. I was just like jumping to my own conclusion. So when you weren't like telling me what was going on or communicating or whatever, I just kind of like jumped ship. Why did you break up with Allie? <laughs> <laughs> She's so perfect. How could I do that? Um, actually, she broke up with me. Did you tell anyone about your relationship? All of like my close friends. Even a lot of acquaintances knew too. We posted stuff together like on yeah. Halloween, but it's Halloween and it's like it seemed easy to like kind of <laughs> yeah, because a lot of people were like they're best friends. We're like <laughs> yep. People who knew that I was into girls before I was like publicly out about it, they knew about her. But there were people I was close with in my life who like didn't know at the time. Would you get back together again now? This is a lot. Well, obviously I'm seeing someone and you yeah. know that, but I think that like if that wasn't on the table, like I said earlier, I like do have a bit of like a struggle of like if things did go south again, like I don't want to lose you as a friend. And that was my issue with the last time that we tried to like talk again and like become friends again. In my head, I was like, I think that I like want to date her again. It's like, I want to say yes. Like I think I like, I want to say I would, but also again, it's like the, I don't want to lose you as a friend. What about you? <laughs> I mean, he liked me better when I was blonde. No, oh my god, no. Honestly, I would, but she has a boyfriend, so, you know. That's like hypothetical, but I agree with like the friendship yeah, thing and stuff. Yeah, and but I'm like still attracted to you, and no, I'm still I'm obviously still like, okay, we never even got to like fully like date That's my thing too, is I also totally have my guards up with like females now. I hate that. I hate that I'm word. so sorry. No, 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 it's not even like just you. I do tend to like very feminine women, yeah. you know, and like in a lot of cases, and I'm not trying to be stereotypical, I feel like a lot of bisexual women tend to be the more feminine ones. Not always, but but in a lot of cases, bisexual women that I've encountered with tend to lean towards liking men more. Or, and, yeah. and not even liking men more, it's just easier. More comfortable it's to date easier. men. It's easier, there's more options, it's like society's not gonna shame you for it. We literally, like on our first date, got robbed, not only, and cat called oh my more God. than I ever have been with my friends walking down a street, and I used to dress just as skanky walking down streets. It was the fact that we were holding hands, it was the fact yeah. that we were kissing. I've gone on dates with multiple women before, and anytime I've ever kissed a girl like in a public place it's literally all eyes are on you and it's scary and so I'm not gonna lie in that aspect it does make me lean more towards being with a man I could agree with that it's yeah. it is scary to wonder like is someone going to be so offended by my sexuality that they hurt me kill me whatever and there are gay people who don't have that option to choose a safe route and that sad that it, honestly that I feel privileged in a way yeah that I, I have so the option that. You, it's yeah. really hard it's usually assumed that people are straight unless like you're out as gay or something and even mm -hmm. if you're out as bi usually like it's just you still have guys who are just trying to you know yeah. yeah that happens more naturally who knew they liked girls first well I don't know when did you like know because I might have known and then just like repressed it I was like in the fifth grade mine was in fifth oh, grade oh we, we talked about this yeah, yeah my first kiss was a girl and it was like in fifth grade yeah I used to masturbate to women <laughs> 
Yeah, I thought that everybody like checked out girls. And yeah, stuff. I like thought that was normal. I had my first like full on like crush on a girl when I was like a junior in high school, and I hardcore repressed that. I was like Christian at the time, and I felt really guilty. And then like I had another crush when I was in college, like a sophomore, and I was like at a sleepover with her and like two of other of our friends, and they were all like making fun of this girl who was gay and bisexual. It sent me like right back into the closet. You guys don't know this, but I did a video with my best friend Kaylee from college. It's called Meet My Girlfriend. It was like a vlog where we went to like the waterfalls in Reading. And people used to always think that we were like dating because at parties we would like honestly get drunk and make out, but whatever. <laughs> I titled the vlog Meet My Girlfriend because we talked about that in the video. And so people were saying I was like gay baiting, which like in retrospect, I see how people would think that. And maybe subconsciously I was trying to like put that out there to see how people would respond. But like obviously not gay baiting, like I actually like am. Liked women. Yeah, I actually like <laughs> girls. But I remember getting so much hate from people yeah, saying I was gay baiting and even like my mom which like at the time I took it as like she wouldn't accept me if I came out so she was actually really hard to come out to but then it was like really easy it went well like she didn't care at all she was like oh I don't care at all but I like anticipated her to like care because she was like offended by that video title and I get why people would be and like I just didn't realize it at the time Kaylee's like one of my best friends it's not like that but like why would I want to name my video that because I wanted to see what people were gonna say you know yeah. but I remember getting like so much criticism saying like you're gay baiting like you're straight and I was like really scared to come out after that you didn't want people I, to like raise yeah I was honestly like I remember crying and crying and crying and like telling my friends like well what if I was gay like what if I did like girls like you know like I kind of took it as like people wouldn't accept me but like I think people were just like triggered by the title which like I get and respect and stuff but like I definitely look back and I did things like that I think because I was like you know putting my toe out there. of the closet see how people would I respond. I can't even tell you how many girls I made out with when I was Great. Oh, same. <laughs> no, I did so much of that in college, and then I even, like, ended up having, like, sex with a girl in college, and then, like, Anna had to actually explain to me, Wait, that oh, that's literally sex, how yeah. lesbians have sex, and I was like, oh, and then I realized I had, like, a crush on the girl, and then, like, I kind of realized I liked girls, and then, like, I met you, so. A love story. <laughs> <laughs> what did you find most attractive about each other personality-wise? You were really funny, <laughs> and you were outgoing. I like that you were into, like, theater and, like, YouTube. I think that just, like, overall, you were just, like, so warm and kind. Not that I like thought that you wouldn't be like genuine because you were a YouTuber or anything like that. People always say that though. <laughs> but like, no, it's not that I thought that. It's that like when someone's so active about how they are online, you never know what they're actually gonna be like. Mm -hmm. And also like I have a personality that fluctuates crazy, but I think the thing that I liked about you is like you were so genuine like to who you are. Your personality always stays the same. You're always bubbly. You're like you can always hold the conversation. You can always like entertain. You always you're so kind and you're so like generous. You're very like hospitable. Isn't I your mood in Gemini. I literally am such a flip floppy ass bitch. Like, <laughs> I'll literally be like so calm and then I'm like, what? Would you do an OnlyFans video with her today? Or I guess like in general? <laughs> Probably not today. But yeah, in general, we've already talked about that. We're literally gonna get naked and film it and just like <laughs> lick each other. I'm just kidding. No, but I think we would like, we've already talked about making content together. Subscribe to both of our OnlyFans linked below. <laughs> oh my god. What? Olivia. She asked me like some of the same <laughs> What was your guys' first impression of each other? Like, again, we both thought we, each other was catfishes. I think that's kind yeah. of what our impression was. I was like, like, there's no way she's real. No, I literally was like, you guys, I'm gonna insert the picture, picture on the screen. This is what popped up on Tinder. I think, I, did I super like you? I super liked you! Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I literally was so cringy with you. What? I was like, oh. hello. I liked it. I liked it. I she was I very, like, it. I like need that in my life. I feel like you did. Anytime I was like assertive, you loved it. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I think that's why I date men a lot. I think like, that in like lesbian relationships, like female to female relationships, I tend to be a little bit more assertive. What was the most touching conversation you've had with each other, happy or sad? I would say in the hammock when we like started crying. Also just like the first day that you came over to my house in San Diego when we sat and we just like talked for six hours and we mm -hmm. genuinely talked about like our like our feelings and like our intentions with each other. I just felt like it was very wholesome and like <laughs> it really was. It was yeah. Like men could never. No, literally. <laughs> What was your favorite physical feature on each other? Your face is fucking beautiful. I've always loved your hair. Remember when we were talking about dyeing your hair blue? Yeah. That's so funny. Obviously, you have like an amazing body. 10 out of 10. But I mean, like, you know, you've always been just like really stunning. Yeah, it's kind of hard to pick like a... Yeah, I don't like have a, any... I, I'm like, yes, you're like, you know, that, yes. that cheek right there. Yes. That's the one. <laughs> What's your favorite feature? Yes. <laughs> literally, I don't know. No, like, honestly, just yes. I, you're literally one of the prettiest girls I've ever seen. My type to a T. Like, all of my friends, like, knew how obsessed with her. The girlfriend tag one. Did you want to? Oh my god, that? No. yeah. We looked up the girlfriend tag. It's actually like the boyfriend tag because no fucking influencer. Oh yeah. This is so fucking weird for some people. I'm like, sure. we're making this tag right now. Do you consider our breakup ugly? Yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I 
mean, it didn't stay ugly like we're friends now. Wait, was it for you? You didn't say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You looked at me like, you did? I'm like, what the fuck? Like, pretends to be shocked. Yeah. <laughs> if you are 100% honest, who would you blame mostly for the breakup? Me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, because at that point I was trying. Even though I, like, definitely, like, was wrong. Like, in my head, I'm like, okay, but, like, I still try. Like, yeah. I still, like, try to turn around and it didn't work. No, I agree. So, yeah, I would say it was my fault. I don't have trust issues. <laughs> what do you wish I did to save our relationship? Did it break up with me? <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would have just let me call you that one, one night. Yeah, I think it was when I was driving to the airport. For myself, though, I wish I would have, like, heard her out. At the time, it was, like, a big deal to me. Like, all these things that, like, now it's, like, okay, I would just, like, call my, I would simply call my girlfriend like, I'm like, like I don't know like I forget that it's even like not the norm to be bi sometimes like I'm just like yeah like I'm very very open about it on my mm -hmm. channel my personal life but like I had a friend come out to me recently and he was like all scared and it put me back in that mindset of like what that feels like when you're first coming out and I was scared to death back then like when I was dating you wait what's the sweetest thing I did for you the spooky basket and my birthday she sent like flowers and like a card no, I still have the bear. card <laughs> like, the teddy bear with it I think it was a teddy bear oh yeah oh it was it. roses and oh yeah wait what did we goat do we name it goat I think it was like goat like greatest of oh all time. because that, that's when you were really into erica costell yeah like, i'm erica costell <laughs> What is your current impression of me? I feel like I've seen you like really like emotionally mature over the years and like, I could agree with that. I feel like I was a different person at absolutely. that point. Absolutely. Mentally like we're on the same page. Like, like emotionally. Parents, like, yeah. <laughs> we fucking had to grow the fuck up. My current impression of you. You seem really happy. Oh, thank you. You seem like you're living your best life. I don't know. I just feel like I know you so much more now too. Yeah. You know? That's like, true. I don't know. I can't think of anything. Do you have any questions for me? Oh, I have one. Okay. Yeah? Mm. Well, I want to know. Okay. What do you think about me and my relationship now? I wish you weren't with him. <laughs> No, but I'm happy for you because like I think he seems like a good guy <laughs> I, I, okay. I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No, 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 it's fine I doubt he would watch this or care. No, I don't mean it like that. I just mean like no, I'm like happy for you <laughs> I'm like so happy for you also dump him. Well the last guy she was with freaking Fucking sucked. trash. So this guy, you know, she told me about him I'm like okay He actually sounds like a decent human being and he like seemed cute like I saw like a video of him or whatever So like I'm happy for you. He seems good, but he better not fuck it up <laughs> I think you want him to fuck it up and keep like, hearing you. A little bit. <laughs> You're like, actually, please break her heart. I will be there to save it. Okay, do you have any for me? What do you think about the last guy I was with? Uh, is he gonna watch this? I feel bad. Oh, I don't care. Okay. You I always give each other the tea on like yeah. the guys we're dating. You were like hitting on me too. And I was like, really? Yeah, you were. I know you were. And I was like, she's basically like flirting with me. And you were like, well, I'm open with him. But if you got back together with him, I'd be upset with you. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> have you dated any other women or like talked to any other women since me? I mean, there was that situation I told you about at like Remember, well, it wasn't like a situation. <gasps> yeah, I but remember, remember I told you, and yeah. you were like, "Oh, that girl like wanted to Definitely date you." Like, yeah. So I never told you, but like, she was the one in college I had like got with. I might have to believe about some of this. I knew I was right because you were like, "No, no, she doesn't like me like that." Well, I mean, no, I'm kidding. You know, I'm like not good with like. I'm, you're hints. not good. I know. Like people have to be very direct. Be my wife. That wasn't like anything at all. Literally, we didn't even like, no, spend time there together or whatever. But I felt like something maybe could have happened from that though, because like in the past it kind of did. Totally. But it just w it was like totally not different vibe. Yeah. Like, it was different than like when I knew her before. I had like a little flirtation ship with like a girl. I guess a couple girls. Like I told you I had a threesome with Oh, yeah. <laughs> and that was like obviously with a girl, but it wasn't like that with yeah. friends. Um, oh, I've had I've had a couple of threesomes, but nothing where there's like really feelings involved. No, I don't know what it is, but like with girls, I'm trying to like imagine like us having a threesome with another guy, and I don't think I, I would that. not. I, would, I literally, like, I don't know. Like the second they would like try to insert you, I'd be like, no, <laughs> no, you're not touching her. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not normally like the jealous type, but I just don't think that that would like go over well with me. You know, it's different. You can like confide in a girlfriend and be like, let's. Got together. That was my situation at least. Oh, with like the threesomes? Yeah, I had two threesomes. I had a threesome with my boyfriend and one of my good friends. Mm -hmm. And how was that? It wasn't bad. I mean, he was the one that was like cheating on me and stuff like that. Oh so my like God. at the end, like he like finished on her. And so, and she was like, that's oh. bad threesome like yeah, etiquette. And no I, really. I was like, but like I knew he had a really big crush on her. And so I was kind of like, okay, like have fun, like get yeah. it. Cause I, I don't know, I like probably didn't get very jealous cause I knew I shouldn't have been with him and I knew I wasn't that in love with yeah. him or anything like that. 
that. No, I feel that. I feel. I like just don't think I could do it like with someone I actually like genuinely like cared about. I yeah, because the threesome I had, it was like someone I was good friends with, and then it was like the last guy I was with, but it was in the beginning stages where yeah, I was not. Different. I didn't care. Yeah. Like honestly, even at the end, I probably still would have had a threesome care, with him. Yeah. yeah, but I also do think it would be maybe different for a girl versus guy in general. If you're like my girlfriend, I'm like I don't think I want to see a guy touch you. I don't know. Yeah, like, no, definitely. It's just something about like men where it's like I know that you want to fuck my girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you genuinely want to, <laughs> and that's where it's a little different for me. I'm like, this is I don't know. This like, is too much fun for you. This is supposed to be fun for us, and it's just too yeah. much fun. Like for when you. I had the threesome, I got the most attention, and yeah. I was like, okay, oh yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> but I also feel like if we were together for like a super long time, we would like have fun, and I could see that also maybe happening. Yeah, I'm like pretty open minded. I feel like I'd be open to it too, but it's more. But I'm also not gonna be like, here, take my. Yeah. Girlfriend. I don't know, which is funny because we both have like had them, so you think we'd be more open to it. But it totally depends on the people. I feel like though. I agree. I know you've told like your current boyfriend about me, but like, mm -hmm. have you ever told like anybody else, and they like got mad, and they're like, you can't be friends with her, or, like anything like that. The ex that I didn't really care about, he was like, well, like you're not gay, so whatever. And I was like. Bet. <laughs> yeah, literally, I was like, I will steal your girlfriend. I just haven't dated anyone, really, mm -hmm. other than them two, since you. You know what I mean? So there's no one really to have that, like, come up. I mean, you probably should be jealous. <laughs> Like, it, it makes sense for him to be. That is literally the most tea filled video. Yeah, you guys just, got like some good information. Like, we just in this. spilled that shit all over the we gay community. We talked about threesomes. We talked about getting back together. We talked about, you know, coming out of the closet. Literally, our entire relationship yeah, the good, the bad, the ugly. So now we're gonna go have sex. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys were entertained, yeah. at least a little bit. I feel like it's a pretty entertaining story. It's a, it's a roller coaster, and I feel like it's kind of like relatable. If yeah, you've been ever if you've ever had like, feelings for like someone of the same gender, it's so nice to like hear someone else talk about it. That's my opinion, and there's not a lot of stuff about that on the internet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Subscribe to both of us. Follow our socials. Let me say bye to the alligators. Say bye, alligators. <laughs> Later, alligators. <laughs> bye. <laughs>